f of x equals 3.1x cubed plus 5.7x squared plus 0.3x minus 1.5 for x is uh, greater than or equal to minus 2 or less than or equal to 0 0.9 g of x equals minus 1.3x squared minus 1.3x plus 0 0.9 and x is greater than or equal to minus 2 and it's less than or equal to 0 0.9. So you've got two different functions um, and they want you to look at it over exactly the same domain and we've been given one set of blank axes that cover the, the, the x domain from minus 2 to 0 0.9 very nicely and they've also been generous enough to give us the range of y that we're interested in. So minus 3 would be our y minimum for the view window and 4 would be the y maximum for the view window. So the questions are sketch y equals f of x on the axes provided. Part b sketch y equals g of x on the same graph so we want f of x and g of x both on here. Part c solve f of x equals g of x so that's intersections. Part D, solve f of x is greater than g of x, and that is something that is um, I haven't covered before in a different video. So I'm going to go through step by step. Part A, B, and C should hopefully be quite simple, and then we'll see what happens afterwards. So we're doing all of this on the, on the TI-84. So we go to the calculator. <coughs> so we're going to go to the calculator. Uh, y equals, and we're going to put that first one in, so it's 3.1. x cubed plus 5.7x squared plus 0.3x minus 1.5. Uh, enter and I'm going to go straight to the window and I'm going to tell it x min is minus 2, x max 0 0.9, skip the x scale, go to y min minus 3, and y max is 4. Enter and graph. And you can see a nice sort of cubic shape. So with these cubics, you get these uh, maximum two turning points. So I need to transfer that onto here. And remember, because we programmed the window, we, we've set the window, that calculator screen is exactly this screen here. So um, key points, we're going to have a maximum. It, it, it sort of comes around, starts from the sort of bottom left. It comes up, we have a maximum just above the x-axis, a bit bit less than halfway. Then we go down, we have a minimum somewhere around there. I'm not exactly sure, it might be on the axis, it might not. And then we go sort of up to the top right corner. So I need to be probably somewhere around here. Remember, it's only a sketch. So probably somewhere near the bottom corner. I'm going to come up to around here. I'm going to look to get there with a curve. In fact, I might go a bit further than that. So looking at it, it's probably a bit less than that. So maybe more like here. Uh, for the minimum, it's somewhere around. It might be slightly less. Look, it doesn't. It needs to be in the right area-ish. It's probably about halfway down and somewhere around. So I'm going to put it about there, but I'm actually not sure. And because it's so close, you're definitely not going to lose a mark if it should be on the axis, you put it just off the axis, or if it should be just off the axis, you put it on. I'm talking about the, the y-axis here. And then it goes all the way up to the top of the screen, so somewhere around here. And it's a nice cubic, so concentration while we draw. Something like that. Okay, so we've got f of x. Now, uh, I need to sketch g of x on the same graph. I'm, I'm going to do it in a different colour. Obviously, in the exam situation, you, you won't be able to do that. But in terms of... Uh, well, I want to use it to explain concepts, so I think the colour would really help. So I'm going to go back to y equals. I'm going to go to y2. I'm going to keep the first graph, and I'm going to type it in. So it is minus 1.3x squared... x 
squared, that's 1.3x, x plus 0.9. Like that, and graph, and you can now see a quadratic function, a negative quadratic, has appeared as well. So we've got two lines. So this one, I'm interested, kind of end point, end point, and then this uh, maximum here, if I can sort of get those in the right place-ish. So probably something like that. And the other end points, similar height, maybe slightly higher on the other side. So maybe somewhere like that. And then this maximum is sort of halfway between um, the maximum of the cubic and the y-axis and it's maybe slightly higher or, or similar actually so probably something like that and I just need to join with a nice smooth curve so smooth as possible something like that is not bad um, I'm going to label these <coughs> so f of x is the black line G of X is the green line. Okay, now <clears throat> solve F of X equals G of X. So F of X equals G of X, we're interested in intersections and there are three. So there's one here and there's one here and there's one here. So I can see the intersection. It's, it's there, there and there. So I'm interested in the x values only because it's just so f of x equals g of x. So what you're doing, you're solving <coughs> 3.1x cubed plus 5.7x squared plus 0.3x minus 1.5 equals minus 1.3x squared minus 1.3x plus 0.9. So you're solving something to do with x equals something else to do with x. So the answers, answers three of them, are all going to be x equals something. So we're looking for intersections, they did a bit fiddly on the TI, but it, but it will find them. So we go second and calc, which is up here, so the trace button. And we're looking for intersect. So number five, I'm going to find uh, the left one first. Remember on the TI, it asks you first curve, second curve, and then you need to guess. So if there's only two lines on, then it's, if I just press enter there, and then you can see it's now gone up to the second curve. For the second guess, I can just press enter, enter, guess, well, I need to move the cursor to make sure it's closest to the point I want. So I'm going to go for the one on the left, so I'm going to move it over there, and I'm going to press enter, and it's telling me x equals minus 1.672909. So remember, unless you are told to do otherwise, or if unless they're really, really nice numbers, you should give these to three significant figures. So that is minus 1.67. Minus 1.67. In fact, seeing as I'm labeling those points, I am going to give a y value, but you really don't need it. So it's minus 0 0.563. Okay, so the next one I'm going to do second and calc again. And I want the intersect. And I'm just going to go, yep, first curve, second curve, and guess, and I'm going to go all the way over to the second one, which is up here. So I'm on this point here, guess, and it's telling me x is minus 1.033108, and y is 0 0.8555, and so on. So that point there is, remember, three significant figures, <coughs> minus 1.03. The zeros count as significant if they're stuck in between non-zeros. Y equals 0 0.855. So zeros don't count if they're at either end, unless they're given for a different reason. That was a 5. 5. 5. And the third one over here, exactly the same again. So second, calc, intersect, first curve, yes, second curve, yes, and guess. So to the right. Get over to that right one, third one over there, so looking at this one, and enter, and it's telling me x is 0 0.44795, so that would be 0 0.448, 0 0.44795, 0 0.44795, 0 0.44795, 0 0.44795, 0 0.44795, 0 0.44795, 0 0.44795, 0 0.44795, 0 0.44795, 0 0.44795, 0 0
zero point four four eight and y is zero point zero five seven. That was silly, I don't even need the y's. So zero point zero five six eight two three significant things. Okay. So we've solved for f of x equals g of x to actually solve it, you only need the x values. So it's x equals minus 1.67, x equals uh, minus 1.03, or x equals 0 0.448. I think in an exam, if you just wrote these numbers down, it would be good enough. Let's make that four a bit clearer. Okay, now this was probably the most difficult. Solve f of x is greater than g of x. So it's basically asking for what, give values of x for which f of x is greater. So as in for which f of x gives higher y values than g of x. And if you look at the two lines, it's basically saying where for, for a given values of x, where is the black line f of x higher than the green line? So within a particular, um, over an interval of x, so one, uh, there's only three things that can be happening, assuming there's no asymptotes and there aren't on this graph. There can be um, the green line's higher or the black line's higher or they are equal. So the points where they're equal are really, really handy. So what I'm going to draw is this little line here. It's not a sign diagram, but what it's going to do, I'm going to just put, so which function on top? On top. So I'm interested in... Um, which functions on top and I'm going to need to know where they're equal. So if I just bring this down, this is minus 0, 1.03 was there. So at minus 1.03, the functions are equal. That also happens over here. I've missed one over there. So 0 0.448, the functions are equal. And this one here, minus 1.67. the functions are equal. So now in between, so you've got one, two, three, four regions that one of the functions is higher than the other one because if they're not equal then one of them must be higher. So if we take this region to the left of the minus 1.67, so this area in here, you can quite clearly see that the green line is higher than the black line. So that means that g of x is higher in that area. So g of x is on top. You can see it has the, the highest y values for this re region in here. The green line is clearly on top. Now if we take this next region here between minus 1.67 and minus what so we're going between these lines here, between these two intersections, you can see all the way through here the black line is higher than the green line. So the black line is f of x. So in here, f of x is on top. And then they intersect again here. So between one point, minus 1.03 and the next one, all the way through here. So this region, all the way through there, you can see the green lines clearly on top. So that would be g of x. And then finally, the right hand side, so to the right hand side of the minus zero, sorry, of the 0 0.448, the black line is clearly higher than the green line, so that would be f of x. So hopefully, this will help to answer the question when is f of x greater than g of x? So you can see f of x is greater than g of x here and here. It happens there and it happens there. So we now need to describe these regions using inequalities. So um, when x is greater than minus 1.67 but less than minus 1.03. So in this region here, f of x is greater. So minus 1.67 minus 1.03x that is a region or an interval of x 
where um, f of x is higher than g of x. And the second place it happens is when x is greater than 0.448. So x is greater than 0.448. I suppose, given that we had a fixed domain, there is an argument for this particular graph of writing, say, 0.448 x and because it only actually goes up to 0 0.9 means we don't know, we assume we don't know anything about the graph from there i suppose this is probably more accurate for this particular fixed domain that we have so i reckon in these regions here so this region and this region f of x is greater than g of x because the black line is clearly higher so it's giving bigger output values than the green line.